choices for youth. We look to assist young people obviously through our social enterprises and use social enterprise as a catalyst for changing a young person's life in a real kind of all-encompassing way. The young people at Choices for Youth, they're not at risk because they don't have a resume. They're not at risk because they don't know how to do a job interview. They're at risk for all these other barriers and challenges and childhood trauma and mental health. Support them around that. Guess what happens? They feel better and they go to work. The number one thing that we really do, the number one thing that we really offer is opportunity. The rest of the work is done by the young people that come through our doors. Everybody, I think, deserve the right to find out where their potential lie. And if we can kind of help guide someone to find that, you know, the path for success is, you know, pretty much paved uh, for them if they can figure out what they love and enjoy to do and what they're good at. Choices for Youth is a not-for-profit organization that serves at-risk youth between the ages of 16 and 29. When we had the opportunity to take part in Project Succeed, it really offered us the first look at what it would be like to employ young people in a manufacturing, production, and what ended up being a fulfillment environment. Project Succeed is a partnership with Enactus Memorial. The students at Enactus designed these hydroponic systems that was an affordable way for communities or independent people to grow nutritious and healthy food with the hopes of empowering communities to be able to solve some of their own food insecurity issues. In doing that, we also get that reverberation of that social impact, which is employing and training young people. The Cooperators has been a huge sponsor of ours in terms of really investing in, in social enterprise. So having partners like that give us a chance to do the things, to learn more, to say, look, this is a viable way to work with our young people. So that's the difference maker that the Cooperators have made, is that, you know, as that early adopter, letting us have the capacity to try these things on for size and see what we can do with it. In our production workshop, we have young people who are learning how to use tools, learning how to come to work on time, being accountable to a workplace, but in a supportive and barrier-free environment. Being who I am and how I am, I'm not really capable of holding down full-time work at the moment. Like, I've tried it before, it just hasn't worked out, so for now, I'm taking the, you know, relax two shifts a week I can get here feel a bit accomplished, you know, you did something within a day instead of just sitting around moping around the house, you know. The beauty of what we do, we have a skill set and a team approach that allows us to put wraparound supports in place. Sometimes it's very hard uh, to start out and, you know, make all those changes on your own. So that's one of the great things about, I think, uh, choices is their ability to adapt and, uh, you know, to take each person as an individual and help them figure out their potential. I think working full time is actually helping my anxiety because I'm here for eight hours a day. I'm talking to people, I'm listening to music, I'm laughing, I'm doing work, like I'm busy. But if I'm home, my brain just goes crazy about anxiety. So then you just stress about stuff and like that. But So working has helped me a lot. Jess said something really impactful to me and it was for her, the reason she liked working at Project Succeed is because she was doing something important. Sometimes you forget that the meaning behind a product and what that brings to a young person's life, that they're doing something that reverberates beyond them and reverberates beyond the organization or St. John's or even internationally. That they have a little hand in that and they've got a part in that and they're part of what builds that. I mean, it's really powerful. We set up a situation where they have a chance. That's all we can do. All we can do is give them the opportunity to come in and try and make a difference. But don't ever forget that the most important part of that is the young people that come through the door want to make a difference. I certainly believe that any young person on any day who walks through our door can actually achieve a much better life. Doesn't mean it's not challenging. 
and it doesn't mean it doesn't take a lot of investment and time and you know uh, two steps forward one step back all of those things apply but I think we see all the potential in the world you know on any given day we come in here we try to do our day's work if something comes up that we need to take care of we put the young people first but when it comes to coming to work in here, we come to work, we show up here, and we work and we do a hard day's work. It's amazing to see what people can do when they're given a bit of a hand up instead of a hand out. 